Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. All right, so to start with, please allow me to thank each and every one of you who participated in the HYIT's Happy Hours Quiz Contest. And as promised, we have gone through all the answers and have selected the people who have given the right answers to all the three questions. And we have also replied back to them in the comment section. Also, please note that we have replied back to each and every one of you who has taken part in this quiz contest and not it's and it's not that we have just replied back to the winners okay we have made sure that we have replied back to each and every guy who participated in the quiz contest okay now coming on to the main part of it the answers let me go ahead and answer the questions first so that you guys know what the right answers were okay so let's get on to the video just a moment Right, so this is the video where I had asked the questions. So question number one was, what are the dates on which the candlesticks are making a bearish piercing pattern? The right answer to it is 20th and 21st of July. Okay, so the guys who have answered it right, well and good. But for the guys who have answered it wrong, for them, you need to realize that a bearish piercing pattern is made out of two candlesticks. It cannot be formed with just one candlestick. And the reason why I'm saying it is because I have got answers wherein the guys have just stated one date, like 21st July. Okay, so you need to keep it in mind that for a bearish piercing pattern to be formed, two candlesticks have to be combined. Okay, so the green candlestick that you see here, that is for 20th of July and the red candlestick that you see here is for 21st of July and combining these two candlesticks, it forms a bearish piercing pattern. Okay, I hope that is clear. Now, moving on to question number two, let's uh, take it there. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so question number two, the question was post the gap up opening how many days did the stock take to close that gap well i twisted this question knowingly because i wanted to see how many of you actually listen and then understand and then answer the question okay so there were two twists in this particular question one twist was when i asked how many days did the stock take to close that gap Please mark my words, I asked how many days. I did not ask how many trading days or how many sessions. So here I'm talking about all the days that includes the weekends as well. Okay, and the second twist was when I stated post the gap of opening. So when I say post the gap of opening, it means after the gap of opening was done. So here, in this case, the gap up opening was confirmed on 2nd March 2015. So you need to exclude 2nd March 2015. So the counting has to be done from 3rd March to 13th March, which gives us 11 days. So it took 11 days for the stock to close that particular gap. I hope that is clear. Now, moving on to question number three. Uh, just a moment. Yeah. So question number three was out of these three chart types, which chart type takes only the help of the closing price in order to plot itself on the charts? Of course, the answer is a line chart and everyone who participated in the quiz, all of them answered it right. So I'm quite glad to see that. Okay. So these were the three questions and these were the three answers uh, to those three questions. I hope it clears you all on that. Okay. So yeah. 
these were the answers to the questions that were asked and again i thank you all for participating in the quiz contest okay now also let me go ahead and mention the names of the guys who are the winners of this quiz so as i have mentioned earlier the first winner would get a prize amount of 500 rupees so the gentleman who qualifies for this is mr mitesh thakkar and the second group of winners who qualify to receive the prize amount of 200 rupees each are mr yash shukla and mr omkar and of course we had the slots for 13 more winners but unfortunately no one except these three guys answers the question uh, answered the questions rightly so we have to restrict the prize amount for these three guys only okay and yeah also let me show you the payment that has been made to omkar uh, just a moment okay so if uh, we go down here in the comment section as i told you earlier i have replied back to each and every guy here okay uh, and there were th three winners uh, one of the winners was omkar you can see here okay so i have replied back to him in the comment section in details and then he sent me his google pay number and the payment has been made i have confirmed it on the charts and i have requested him to reply back if he has uh, you know received the payment or not okay and just to show you guys I have also taken a screenshot of the payment that that has been made to Omkar. Okay, so 200 rupees have been credited to Omkar. Okay, so this is the payment screenshot from our end. Okay, from HYAT's end. Okay, and we are still awaiting a reply from Omkar. Once he confirms that yes, he has received uh, the payment amount, then we are done with Omkar. For the rest of of the two guys, we are still waiting uh, a reply from Mitesh and Yash, as you can see here. Uh, let me just show you quickly. Yash here. So I have sent him uh, the details about the payment and waiting for his reply. And one more is Mitesh. Here also you can see I have sent him uh, everything in details and I'm waiting a reply from him. So once I get the GP number from him, I will go ahead and make the payment accordingly. Okay, so uh, just a moment. Yeah, so that was about uh, how the communication took place and how the payment was made. Uh, and all of these details were already given by me uh, in the previous uh, video as well. So that has to be followed. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it from my end, guys. I hope uh, it was fun. I hope it was uh, fun. You guys must have enjoyed a bit. And we all, uh, we will keep coming up with such quiz activities every now and then, whenever we get some free time. And I hope in the next quiz contest, more and more people will participate and qualify themselves to be in the winners list. Okay. Till then, if you want, you can spread the word so that more and more people can participate and can get a chance to earn some free cash. Okay. And also it will be a learning for them in terms of trading. Okay, that's all from my end, guys. You all take care of yourselves, and I will see you all later. Happy trading. Stay back home. Bye bye.